Let's eat. As legend has it, New Jersey is the diner capital of the world. So it only makes sense that I'm here at Edgewater to eat the most epic flat top creations I can find. For over 45 years, Brownstone Pancake Factory has been flipping, grilling, and frying up something for everyone, like this Jersey chicken and cheddar pancake stack. And anyone with a sweet tooth won't be able to resist the chocolate chip brownie pop waffle. I'm ready to eat if you are. What is it about this place that you love? The food is off the wall, really decadent creations, and honestly, everything is something you wouldn't expect, but it just really works. Every time I come, I just watch the food coming out of the kitchen, and your head can't help but turn and gawk at everybody else's food. Bobby Burnas grew up flipping pancakes at his family's Jersey institution, but now he's the one in charge of the grill, serving up over-the-top dishes that have made Brownstone's the classic American diner making my bucket list. The amount of sugar that's coursing through my veins yeah. right now, mm -hmm. I might have to do a couple of laps around the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get used to it once you come here a do lot. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you want. You crave it. I've had, like, fried chicken and waffles, but I've never had fried chicken and pancakes before. Well, it's the new thing. It starts out with their amazing pancakes, which they've been making for years, hence the name Pancake Factory. Yes. Cheddar, bacon, jalapeno, fried chicken, drizzled with some sour cream, honestly. It's having a moment, I'm sorry. I know, you need I, know, I, know, I, know, I, know. I saw that moment. Brownstone Pancake Factory is a legend here. And it's because you guys make these amazing pancake waffle concoctions. We take something that's kind of ordinary and made it extraordinary. Like, we just kind of go over the top and, you know, things that people would never expect. That's what I want. I want craziness. The Jersey chicken and cheddar pancakes. Tell me about this dish. It's a sweet, savory. There's spice to it. It's one of my favorite dishes. You're going to show me how to make these pancakes? Absolutely. We're going to start with the eggs. OK. And then I'm just going to start mixing this stuff. And then we're going to add the buttermilk. OK. You can smell that tangy as well. Flour. We kind of just do it little by little. So it incorporates completely? Nice. Yes. Yeah. Vanilla syrup. And then we're going to add confectionery sugar. OK. We're ready. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the pancake grill. Yes. If I put anything else on this. You're in trouble. Put a burger, I get in trouble. Can't happen. Put three pancakes on here. OK. I just want them to sort of cook up a little bit. Then we'll add the bacon and cheddar. We're going to flip. Oh. That's the color of childhood, right? Yes. We're ready to go. What happens next? So what we're going to do now is fried chicken. It's an all-white meat, ultra juicy, ultra crispy. That's just perfect with the pancakes. Oh, nice. Fried chicken onto the pancakes. Yes. There's also a ton of chicken that you're putting on these pancakes. Some more bacon on top, sharp cheddar. <laughs> and then we're just going to throw this in the salamander yeah. just to melt a little bit. Look at this. Try this. I can eat this now, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. So we're going to add some fresh jalapenos. OK. Parsley, sour cream. This is going to cool down some of that spice that you're going to be tasting. Powdered sugar. Voila. That is our Jersey chicken and cheddar pancakes. This is a magical dish. Your pancakes are bucket list worthy by themselves. They get the tanginess from the buttermilk on top of it all. You get the bites of the crispy bacon in the pancakes. Then you add the beautiful, crispy, juicy fried chicken. You get that nice, perfect combination of the heat from the jalapeno, the cool from the sour cream. It is just perfection on a plate. And I'm so happy that I'm here. That's a good looking breakfast. Oh my god, it's to die for. To die for. I'm guessing you have just the slightest sweet tooth. Just a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> Crispy Belgian waffles, there's some hazelnut and chocolate drizzle, a chocolate pop on top, brownies everywhere. Oh, this is just heaven on the plate. This needs to be on your bucket list. If it's not, then let me see that list. <laughs> Something wrong with your list. <laughs> Something's wrong with your list if you don't want this. You have a popsicle right on, on the waffle. Yes. Where, why? What is, where, where does it? What's happening in here? I, uh, <laughs> What's going on in there? One of the greatest joys I have is seeing people's reactions yeah. when they get their food. Is it like a super crispy waffle? Very airy. Very airy. Buttery. Yeah. Uh, light and crispy. So let's make the batter. We start with eggs. OK. These we whisk by okay. hand. 
We or you or me? Uh, I could start. Are you? Yeah, all right. There we go. I'm here. I'm a guest, right? And then we're going to add some water. There we go. I'm going to just whistle some more. I finally get to do some work today. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done anything all day. This is our uh, flour. You're good. Keep on going. Keep on going. Because you don't want it to lump up. And then what's really going to bring this all together is the melted butter. OK. And we're, we're good to go. We're going to make two waffles. And then add some chocolate chips and pecans to this batter. And then we're just flipping them over. Flipping it over. And then Two this, minutes and 30 seconds. 30, yep. All right. You can see all the chocolate chips all melted right in there. OK, and I get to eat this now. Not yet. There's still Not more yet. things. There's more things. You're always in a rush. Don't I'm, worry, we'll I'm get there. I'm hungry, that's we'll all. On top of this waffle, we're going to put some vanilla ice cream, brownies? chocolate fudge brownies. This is the second. And this right. is massive already. <laughs> but there's more. There's more. This ice cream right in the middle, some more brownie, some chocolate chips, <laughs> some more pecans. Put it on. This is where the pop comes from. OK. This is also for height. Chocolate sauce. Yeah. Caramel sauce. And this is our hazelnut spread. Like that hazelnut spread we all grew up on? Oh, yes. Yes. The final touch is some powdered sugar. And we don't want to put too much, because you don't want to hide all the goodness. Oh, of course, you don't, want, you don't want too much sugar now. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> and here you have it, our chocolate chip brownie pop waffle. Oh, my god. <laughs> There is nothing like the combination of the crispy, sweet waffle, and then you get that cold ice cream and that mix together, especially when the ice cream kind of melts and gets into the squares of the waffle. The brownie is just perfection. It's dense, it's rich, it's chocolatey. This is happiness on a plate. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You. Appreciate I that. feel like I'm a kid, <laughs> but nobody's going to tell me not to eat this.